back, everybody, and this one should be a dandy this afternoon. Brisk, cool weather on tap for tonight's game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Cardinal of Stanford. And here comes the Cardinal. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And we've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. The Yellow Jackets are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Well, I'm going to go the other way on this one because of one key area. Georgia Tech is coming in here with a lot of confidence. But it takes more than confidence to be able to slow down this ground game and this running back. I think they get the upset here, Lee. Are you kidding me? Nah, no way. Georgia Tech has guys that can play like you wouldn't believe. And they've got some of the best athletes on the defensive side of the ball. So look for them to really stop that running game and win a big one here. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. Georgia Tech lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Kicks it off. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 20. Georgia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 10, options out. Little shake and bake move. Brought down at the 31. A lot of running room there. One thing about the option that people may not realize, it's not the easiest play to run. You've got so many things to worry about. Do I hold it? Do I pitch it? Or is this big guy going to hit me? <laughs> Scooter, it's a good thing you weren't running that play. The results might not have been as successful. Ten, ball on their own 31. First, first ten, ten. The Cardinal line up in an I formation. They'll run the option. Spins upfield. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number eight, alone in the backfield. Set. Put hot. Put hot. Put hot. Back to pass. Under pressure. Throws it out there. Complete. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. They complete the long pass that time. And remember what we talked about. It's extremely important for this defense to stop him here after giving up that big play. This is very important. You don't want that water leak to turn into a flood. <laughs> no, you don't. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up in a nickel back. Number ten on the option right. Pitches back. He tries to spin. Number 23 brings him down at the 34. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Yellow Jackets come out in a 4-3. Number 33, the ball carrier. Number 54 with a takedown at the 29. About five yards there on the fullback carry. First and 10, sixth play of this drive coming up. 
Georgia Tech comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Tries to juke, sheds that one. Inside the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me say one thing about that run. It takes one heck of a running back to be able to make a play like that, my friend. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. And he tacks on the extra point. Stanford is ready to kick it away. He kicks it. Number 24, fields it at the three. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Number 99 tackles him for a loss on the play. Well, the defense here did a great job of sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 13 steps back to pass. He passes it. Number 84 makes the catch. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. Here's another look. It's first and 10, ball on their own 38. Georgia Tech lines up in a double tight set. He drops back. He pump fakes, fires a bullet over the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Second and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Stanford comes out at a 4-3. Number 13, hands off to the left. Number two, brings him down at the 39. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Third and nine. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Yellow Jackets come out in the shotgun. Number 13, back to throw. He throws it, and it's caught. He's at the 30. He finally goes down at the 24-yard line. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. It's first and 10, ball on the 24. Stanford brings in the nickel here. Bounced off the would-be tackler. Brought down at the 15-yard line. They'll get nine yards on the play.
Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 15. They line up in an eye. Number two on the inside handoff. Number 20 with a takedown at the nine-yard line. About six yards on the play. The Yellow Jackets line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. Complete. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. It's power football time, folks. Number 46 brings him down for a loss. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Trying to find that end zone here as they come out in the I formation. They get it out there on the top. He's hit and got away. He's in for the touchdown. Nice job by the running back, getting in for the touchdown. Check out the replay on that one. And he hits the PAT. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Georgia Tech, seven. Stanford, seven. Georgia Tech ready to kick this one off. Number five and number 26 back ready to return. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 20. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Number eight on the give. Nice spin move. Number 54 brings him down for a loss. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. Second and 15. Ball on their own 15. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 10, hands off right side. And he's tackled at the 27. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number eight, the ball carrier, makes a move. Number 54 brings him down at the 42. Nice pick up there for the first down. Boy, there was a great block there. The reason why that's a great block is because he got in the guy's face and he do what they call chicken fighting. You get in the guy's face and you kind of dance with him away from the right. ball carrier. It's first and 10, ball on their own 42. The Yellow Jackets use a four-man front here. Number 10 on the option, and they hit him in the backfield. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it.
And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. We are ready to start quarter number two. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out with four wide out. Number eight on the give. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and seven coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Cardinal come out showing three wide. Number eight gets it on the counter, and he stopped behind the line. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line's going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. Fourth and eight coming up now. Ball on their own 44. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 41 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 22-yard line. They'll go to work at the 22. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 24. The Yellow Jackets line up with three wide. They hand it off. And down he goes at the 26. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 26. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. He unloads it. Swatted away. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. Fourth down at six. Ball on their own 26. Number five, awaiting the return. Number five, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 37. They'll take over at the 37-yard line. Number 10 with four wide receivers. Number 58 with a takedown at the 38-yard line. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second and nine, ball on the 38. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll run the option. He laterals the ball. Missed tackle. He jukes. And he's taken down at the 49. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. He's backfield. He's at the 40. Number 92 brings him down at the 34. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. He's looking. He goes downtown. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. Tacks on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Stanford 14, Georgia Tech 7. Stanford to kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number 24 takes it at the eight. Breaks one. They'll get the ball here at the 35. The Cardinal line up in a 4-3. Number two gets it on the inside. Gets past the tackler. Number 54 with a takedown at the 41-yard line. And a nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four. Ball on the 41. Number 13, back in the gun. Number 48 brings him down at the 45. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Stanford comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Loses the football. Scooped up by the offense. Number three with a takedown at the 43. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big guy. Boy, sure was, Kirk. The defensive lineman knew right where the ball was going to land, and he gobbled it up. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Four wide. Set. Cut. Cut out. Number 10 drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Number 10 lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 43. Georgia Tech lines up in a dime defense here. Looking. Going deep. And it's caught. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out in a 4-3. Number eight on the give. There's a stiff arm. Brought down at the 26-yard line. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there.
It's second down and four to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Cardinal come out in a shotgun. He's at the 20, shakes off a tackle. Number 58 brings him down at the 15. First and 10, they're inside the 20. The Yellow Jackets line up in a 3-4. On the ground, up the middle. And he's tackled at the 14. The Cardinal are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and nine. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Yellow Jackets use a four-man front here. They'll run the option. Laterals back. Number 52 with a takedown at the eight. That's a nice six-yard game. The Cardinal come to the line with their jumbo package. Number 10, back to pass. He's looking for his man, and it's caught for the touchdown. Great touchdown hook up there. Man, this tight end brought his A game today. He can play. So we're just over a minute to go in the half. The score, Stanford 21, Georgia Tech 7. Stanford lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number five takes it at the eight. They'll start this drive at the 28 yard line. The Yellow Jackets set up in the gun. Number 13 drops back, looks, rifles it over the middle. It's dropped. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 28. Trips right, number 13, steps back to pass. Let's it go, and it's knocked down. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Third down and 10 coming up, ball on the 28. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. Number 13, back to throw. He's looking. Number five with a catch. That's going to be short of the first. Well, good play there by the defense, but the receiver needs to be more aware of the first down line. Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 30. They line up to punt this one away. Number five calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 34.
They'll go to work at the 34. Georgia Tech brings in their nickel package. He drops back. He fires left side. Number 29 tips it away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Nickel defense. Number 10 drops to throw. Looking. He's on the run. Fires across the middle. Off his hands. Incomplete. That would have been a spectacular catch if he'd held on. We're at the one-minute mark. First half. The Cardinal line up with four wideouts. Set. Put hot. Put hot. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Fourth down and 10. Ball on the 34. Number 39 set to punt. Number 41 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 23. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. Number two lines up as a single back. Number 13 drops back to pass. Complete. Number 48 brings him down for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Back to pass. And it's caught. And they make the stop at the 21. The Cardinal call for a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 21. Stanford brings in the nickel here. Number 54 brings him down at the 25-yard line. Stanford takes a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Five, fields it at the 38. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Smack right on the old noggin. They'll get the ball here at the 38 yard line. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Back to pass. Throws it deep downfield. And that one's fallen incomplete. I've got to see that one again. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Stanford, 21, Georgia Tech, 7.
We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number five takes it at the eight. They'll throw the flag. Gets a tackler. Holding, Holding. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. Ten yard penalty. First down. First They'll start this drive at the 18. The Cardinal line up in a 3-4. Number 13 gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the 20. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 20. Georgia Tech in a four-wide set. He drops back. Looks. He fires right. Number three has it. Number 29 with a takedown at the 31-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. It's first and 10, ball on the 31. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Second down and three to go. Ball on their own 38. The Cardinal bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure. Complete. Number two brings him down for a loss. Drop back a yard. It's third down and four to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia Tech comes out with two tight ends. They'll run the option. Fires deep down the left side, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Fourth and four, ball on the 37-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. They throw a flag. Number six calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 26. Holding on the only offense. The penalty is the call. First down. First down. First and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He lobs it out to the right. Number eight hangs on to it. Can't have him up. It's scooped up. And they make the stop at the 23. And they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover, right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game, but better late than never. Here it is again. It's first and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. They come out with three wide receivers. Number two takes a pick. And they got him for a loss. Good job there by the defense. They brought the blitz that time and made it difficult for the linemen up front to pick everybody up.
It's second down and 10 to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Stanford lines up defensively in a 3 4. Number 37 on the handoff. Tackle at the 19 yard line. The fullback gains about four yards there. It's third down and six to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. He passes it, and it's incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. It's fourth down and six. Ball on the 19. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up. And it sails to the upright. Georgia Tech ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Number six fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. Georgia Tech brings in the nickel here. On the ground, up the middle. He's hit and got away. Number four brings him down at the 36-yard line. He'll get nine yards on the play. Second and one, ball on the 36-yard line. Stanford in a five-wide set. Number 10 drops back. He throws it, and it's caught. Brought down at the 45-yard line. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game, but some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. First and ten, ball on the 45-yard line. Georgia Tech brings in their nickel package. And he's going to lose yards on this one. It's a nice job by this defense. They were not fooled at all on this draw play. You're right. They were all over that play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 50. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Number 10 steps back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. Third down, 15. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Number 10 has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. He's looking. Let's it fly. Complete. Number 51 with a takedown at the 42-yard line. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. Fourth down and seven coming up. Ball on the 42. The Cardinal line up to punt. Set. 
Number 41 signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the six-yard line. They'll take over at the six. Stanford lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Off his hands, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the six. Georgia Tech comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Number 13 drops the throw. He lets it go. And it's caught. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. First and ten, ball on the 29. The Yellow Jackets come out in the ace formation. He spins around. There's a missed tackle. Number 90 brings him down at the 42. A nice run there and another first down. Yeah, this is a delayed handoff to the tailback, and as you can see, he knows exactly how to handle it once he gets his hands on the ball. Also, Kirk, you got to give the offensive coordinator a lot of credit. A nice call there. It's first and 10, ball on their own 42. Number 13 has four receivers lined up here. Number 13 drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left, and he can't hang on to it. Second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Two tight end set. Counter play. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. Third down and 10 coming up, all on their own 42. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. Number 13, back to throw. There's a fumble. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Now the quarterback has to do a better job of holding on to the football. That could have been costly. Fourth and long, ball on the 33-yard line. Georgia Tech ready to punt this one away. Number six calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 26. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He's looking for his man. Complete number 27 with a takedown at the 39-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his roof. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Georgia Tech comes out in a 4-3. Number 10 drops back. Let's it go. And it's caught. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. 
the Cardinal set up in the gun. Hunt, hunt. Hunt. He drops back, looking, throws it out there, and it's incomplete. He knocked it loose there. He did what he's taught to do, and that's don't worry about getting hit. Worry about catching the ball first. He caught the ball, then got hit and dropped it. You just can't win there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Yellow Jackets bring in their dime package. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Stanford 21, Georgia Tech 10. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and eight, ball on the 45. The Cardinal line up with three wide. Drop back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Rolls to the left. Chucks it deep down the right side. And he can't make the catch. Fourth and eight coming up now. Ball on the 45-yard line. Number 39, back to punt. Number 41 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 10. They'll start this drive at the 10-yard line. Number two, alone in the backfield. Number 13 gives it up the middle. Number 20 brings him down at the 10. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. Georgia Tech goes with the ace set here. the ball carrier they'll bring him down at the 17 a seven yard run by the running back third down and three coming up ball on their own 17 Georgia Tech sets up in the eye He passes it. Complete. Gets that one. Number two with a takedown at the 32. A good pickup that time. Yeah, and one of the things that can really open up this offense is their ability to complete these types of medium-range passes. You're right. That and the ability to run the ball consistently. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up in a double tight set. Gives it up the middle, and he stopped behind the line. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. So it's second and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Stanford lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 13 gives it up the middle. Number 29 brings him down at the 39-yard line. 
He takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain. We get third and three here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up in a goal line set. Brought down at the 42. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he could get to the sticks. It is fourth down and inches. Ball on the 42. They line up in an eye. Tackle at the 43-yard line. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Stanford comes out in a 4-3. He drops back. Steps up. He guns it to the right. And it's caught. Number 29 with a takedown at the 38. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Number 13 comes to the line with three wide. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 79 brings him down at the 29-yard line. Gain of nine. It's second down and one to go. Tenth play of this drive coming up. The Cardinals come out in a 4-3. Number 13 gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 26. And he picks up the first down on the run. Good job by the fullback there, keeping the chains moving. It's first and 10, ball on the 26. Number 13 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He rifles it to the left. Off his hands, incomplete. And second down and 10 to go. 12th play of this drive coming up. Number 13 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He throws it. Complete. And they make the stop at the 19-yard line. Well, the pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. He drops back. Looks. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. The defense came with a blitz that time, and that might have caused him to misfire that one. That one's worth another look. Fourth down and three. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number 13 is back in the gun. Number 13 steps back to pass. Guns it across the middle. Tackle at the 10. And they beat the blitz that time and came away with a nice play. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He wants it all going long. Tipped away. And he makes a spectacular play in the end zone. Keep an eye out for this cornerback. It's going to be interesting to see if they continue to throw the ball in his direction. Georgia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Here's a pitch left side. And they got him for a loss. 
Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. Number 13, back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. That was one heck of a touchdown catch by the halfback. What happened here, guys? Well, the quarterback does a good job of recognizing the blitz and then getting rid of the ball on time. Number 13, running the option. Now he pitches it. Number 90, brings him down for a loss. This is the right call here, the goal for two. You're right, they try to sneak it in on the ground and the defense was ready for him that time. Georgia Tech to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number six. Fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. Georgia Tech brings in the nickel here. He's out to the 30. Number four with a takedown at the 34. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. I've got to see that one again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34. Georgia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. Number eight on the inside handoff. Number 52 brings him down at the 37-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second down and seven to go. Ball on the 37. The Cardinal line up in an I formation. The counter. He's hit. Got away. Number four with a takedown at the 38. Georgia Tech calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 38. The Cardinal come out in a shotgun. Number 10 drops back to pass. Looking. He goes downtown. Incomplete pass. Fourth down and six. Ball on the 38. Number 39 to punt this one away. Number 41 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 28-yard line. It's first and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. They use four linebackers. Number 13 drops the throw. Looks, he gives a pump fake. Fires deep down the right side, and he can't hang on to it. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow.
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Cardinal put four men up front. He lets it go. Number 84 makes a catch. Number 54 brings him down at the 35. That's a seven-yard gain. He drops back under pressure. Number two with a catch. And down he goes at the 42. That will be enough for the first down. Well, you talk about a sharp pass. That was a nice throw right there. Kirk, wasn't that a nice catch? The spike will stop the clock. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. Number 13 drops back. He's looking for his man. Picked off. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. No, they didn't. And now it puts them in a situation where they have to get a stop. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. Georgia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. They hand it off. A little two. Number 52 with a takedown at the 43. The Yellow Jackets are going to take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. We're down to just a minute in this game. Stanford will line up in a jumbo set here. Number eight gets a carry left side. Number 49 brings him down at the 27. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. First and 10. Ball on the 27. 4-3 defense. Second and 13, ball on the 30-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out in a 4-3. This one's in the books, folks. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Yo, this was a spectacular football game. Stanford played a great game out there. Time and time again, they were faced with a challenge, and every time they had the answer. This was a gutsy performance by these kids, and they should be proud of this victory. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2003. And again, our final score, Stanford 21. Georgia Tech 16 for Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.